Hey y'all, it's me, Freaky Fur Comics. Gonna do another unboxing today. This is gonna be that Spider-Man booth unboxing number two. If you haven't seen the first one, go back, check it out. Uh, kind of explain what I got and how much I got and why this is number two and this can be a series because there's a lot. There's a lot. So I'm not gonna explain it too much, you know. I got these from that Spider-Man Uh they're Monday Manias, Instant Mondays, and Mystery Box 2.0s. They do mystery boxes. Most of them are, virgin, are variant covers. They do throw some oldies in ever so often, and you have chances to win grand prizes with every every box. Every, every purchase you do, you have a chance to win something. Even on uh, Instant Mondays, your orders from a year ago could still win comic books. The Spider-Man booth is pretty cool. You guys need to check them out. Um, I'll have their description stuff below. Just, just give them a look over. Um, they're pretty sweet. If, like I said, watch my last video, the unboxing number one, and you'll see what they're kind of all about. I kind of explain in a little more in detail. But I want such a long video because, uh, one of these are really heavy. I don't want to see what's going on. So we got their 2.0 box today. We're going to open one of these. And we're going to also open this guy. This is about three pounds. I have no idea what's in this. Um, it could be Insta Mondays. It could be Money Manias. Yeah. It could, I, I don't know. Like I said, there's a GP in here somewhere in one of my boxes. It's a four figure book. I'm excited to get into them. So I pan on through these videos because I want to get to them. It, it's in here somewhere. But yeah, so let's uh, let's get started. Like I said, we'll get started with our 2.0 box. 2.0 is just their mystery box. That's just what they call it. Um, you buy, you can go on the website, you can buy one. It's like 30, 30 bucks. Uh, but then you gotta pay like 10 bucks for shipping. Uh, so it ends up 40. Or you can buy two and get free shipping. Or you can wait till Monday Manias. Mondays for 24, 30, and 5. And every order is for shipping. So they kind of give you different options when to buy and what you can buy. But like I said, every every purchase, they you have a chance to win their grand prizes and extra books. So they're well worth checking out. Like I said, check out my last video. You can kind of see what I want. And maybe one of these videos will have uh, have that grab prize in there. Random tractor going down the road. Kind of got kicked out of my garage. Like I said, I got five kids, so two dogs, two cats. So it's easier to do this out in the garage. But there's some of the boxes you can get. They change them up to five. I feel like Miles. They're going to start doing limited runs on boxes, apparently. So you could... Uh, I had their old, original, that Spider-Man booth box back there, but this is kind of the new ones they did. But then you also got some street-level hero boxes. They're kind of cool. They're different. It's kind of cool to collect some different boxes. But anyway, let's get into this. First comic of the 2.0 Mystery Box. Um, no idea. The Great Lakes Avengers. Dr. Nods. Good bod supplements. Deadpool down there in the corner. No idea. I've never seen this one. Number seven. No idea. Next. Oh, cool. I've got one of these. Not like this one, but I've got one. Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, number one. A little 15 retail sticker on there. Again, they're a retail shop. So, I mean, depending on how the book gets, or yeah, how much, how much hypes. Hype it gets. I apologize. Thinking of talking. Terrible. It, this could be like a 10 to $7 book. But kind of gets you an idea of what, what it could be worth. Next. Witchblade. Number 38. No idea. And I got a couple Witchblades in there. I've never read them. Like I said, I'm still new. I'm still trying to figure them out. So maybe I should give a read and kind of get backstories and find out what some of this stuff is. Next, this one's got a S S L H L A dot conk uh, sticker on it. So hopefully it's an, uh, Venom. That would be nice. Oh, nice. There's this. They just dropped this cover. They have the red background also. I didn't buy these because I knew. I knew I had a whole bunch of mystery boxes and eventually maybe one of these will get thrown in. So I just waited and I was hoping and I got one. So that's cool. I mean, that's cool. Amazing Spider-Man number four with Green Goblin on the front. I mean, that's awesome. Next. And final one for the 2.0 box we got. 
I don't know. A little forty dollar price tag on there. Probably get thirty. Looks like a very new cat woman, but you know you got Kitty Pride and all those other ones and black cats and so I don't want to be wrong, so I'll just open it up and take a look. We got it's a convention exclusive. Batman number fifty. Uh, variant cover edition presented by KRS Comics. So I assume that's Catwoman. I'd assume, but I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know down below. Said something I've, I haven't seen before, so I might have to give it a quick little glance and uh, see. But it's got Catwoman esque about her. But yeah, that was the 2.0. Again, you know it's retail shop, so you can do 30 on this one. You could do 10 on this one. There's 40 bucks. You paid 40 bucks or 30 bucks for the box. You already got your money back. You still got three other books. I mean, Spider-Man booth, yeah, their quality and their books prices. They're, I mean, as right now for mystery boxes, they're uncomparable. I, I don't see anybody better than them. But that's just my honest opinion. I mean, you got some other people that might, you know, do a little bit better for their different price ranges and stuff like that, but. What price, what Spider-Man gives you for their mystery boxes and what you can win, I, I just don't see anybody better. So, we're going to get into the big box. It's heavy. I have no idea what's in this. I said, they have three different shows and it's all back pay or back amounts. So, it could be anything. Okay. Well, we're going to have to halvesy this box. Because we got... Four more 2.0s. It could be Miss Monday Manias and stuff in here, Insta Mondays. It also could be in here, but I'm not going to open all four because that would take a while. So I will save two more of these for next video. Number number three. So we got these two. Again, we're waiting to see that grand prize. It's in there. Just, just stay tuned. I know it's in here somewhere, and when I see it, I'm going to freak out. All right. Let's do this one. Another 2.0. This one, front. Let's go to the front. Back usually has to be best. We got Red Hulk, number 20, and he's squeezing the heck out of Deadpool. <laughs> it's kind of funny. He's got a Macho Man stash right going on right there. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the Hulk with a mustache. This would be uh, Comics Elite and, then, and Unknown Comics, The Immortal Hulk, number 21. Kind of cool. Not bad. You got like, to like, love some Hulk. Next, another Star Trek. I got one of some of my first box openings for them. Number one. Pretty sweet. First issue. I'd have to take a look at that. Like I said, the first other one. Oh, 1989. Interesting. Again, Spider-Man Booth is usually known for uh, variant covers and all that stuff. Newer comics, so get stuff like that. It's an oddity. I, I don't know where they're coming from, but I'm glad to get them. Next, another Star Trek. Number six. I don't know. Maybe they had a collection because I just got number four or something out of the other box. I'm going to have the whole run here shortly. <laughs> that's that's kind of cool. All right, next one after that, we got, oh, I got this one ready. So if you're interested in stuff like this, that when I tell you that I got, got it already, just hit me up, let me know. I do have a lot of these, uh, and I got a lot more coming. So, so let me know. Web of Venom, Cult of Carnage. I mean, I like this, I like this cover. I mean, that's a pretty sweet cover. I mean, you can almost flip it up like this, but I'm pretty sure you sit upside down. That's cool. And last for this 2.0, we got Dark Knight Metal, another $15 book. Number six. I actually don't have any of these metal ones. A lot of people like them. I haven't really got into it yet, so I'll, I'll, I'll probably give it a look. But again, for this box, we got 15, 30, 50. I mean, if you cut those down, I mean, you still got. 30 bucks, you still get your 30 bucks back in value. So you got what you paid. 
So that's 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 really cool. Not to mention the Star Trek number one. But we'll do this next one. Last but not least, I actually saw the front cover. I was again saw this and been waiting on buying it, and uh, I'm glad I didn't buy it because it's sitting right here. First one we got. Look at that. Rogan Gambit. Virgin variant. This is cool. This is cool. I wanted this one. I saw it a couple weeks ago. And it, it's got a cool look to it. Just a cool look. Mr. and Miss. Unknown Comics, number one. This is cool. I really like this one. I like this one and I saw it. I just, I waited on it and I'm glad I did. It's got a good cover. Sorry, I'm kind of looking at that one and going, ah. <laughs> Next, we got... Uh, what is that one? Hot Shots. Domino. Oh, okay. Number one variant. Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. Look at that. That's kind of cool. It might have some good little value to it. But if you want to buy retail value... Boom, there's your retail. I'm done. I don't need to I don't need to look at it anymore. I already got my money back. Well, that's cool. Next one, we got X Factor. Number 95. Random vs. Polaris. 1993. Another little oldie. I don't think I've got this one yet. So this is kind of a good little pickup. I said to go with my X Factor set. Eventually I'll just sell them all together. Next, we got another Star Trek. Number 37. Okay. Like I said, I'm probably going to have the whole Star Trek run. I won't even realize it. <laughs> That's cool. Another Star Trek. Next, and final one for these box in this video, we got... Ah, anything good? Ooh. Another Venom. Number 10. A $15 price tag on there. Probably about 10 bucks. Maybe eight. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm super happy with these boxes, like always. I mean, I've never, I haven't been disappointed with that Spider-Man booth yet. But that's it for this video. Like I said, um, down below, I'll have them linked. Check them out. Give them a quick peek. If you're new to comics, they're a good way to start. They're cheap. You get your value. Um, and if you don't like stuff, just, just sell it on eBay. Most of the time, they're carrying their price. Pretty well. Just throw it up there. They sell. They usually sell pretty quick. Me, I'm kind of a, a collector. Collector. I mean, I had over 400 pops, and I actually got rid of those to start buying comics. Now I have like a thousand comics within a month and a half. Getting a little carried away, but I'm happy to do it because they take up a lot less room. And something about the comics, the covers, and all this stuff, I'm liking a lot better than the Funkos. Funkos are cool, but you know they all kind of look the same. But when you got when you do covers like this, I mean, those are just awesome to look at. So, yeah, check out that SpidermanBoost.com. Link below. Like, subscribe if you like the video. Uh, comment, please. Just throw something down, something you like to see, a box you'd like me to pick up. Um, just anything, anything you want to say. Uh, I'll be happy to respond to you. And like I said, if you see something you might want, uh, hit me up. Uh, maybe we can work something out and we'll sell it to you. Um, as always, thanks for this video. This is number two unboxings uh, for that Spider-Man booth. I've got a ton more, so just wait for number three. And that GP is coming. I was told it's in here. I was told it's in here. <laughs> By JP, personally, he said it's on its way. So GP is in here. Like I said, it's a four-figure book. Just stick with me. It's coming. All right, I'll catch you guys later.